So, I want to move on to um, pranayama technique, which is more or less breath control. Prana meaning life, energy, or breath, and yama meaning control. <laughs> breath is everything that we are, and a lot of times we we don't even focus on it, we don't even realize that it's there. But it's everything that we are, it's the core of our being and the core of our existence. And when we learn how to control it, when we become more aware of it, a lot of things change in life. So, let's do, I'm going to do two different techniques of pranayama. One is going to be Analoma Veloma, which is alternate nostril breathing. And another one is going to be Kabbalabhati, which is skull shining. That's the definition for Kabbalabhati, is skull shining, which refers to illumination or enlightenment. So let's start with uh, Analoma Veloma which is alternate nostril breathing. And what I want you to do is I want you to pick a sitting posture, whichever is comfortable for you. You can just feel a comfortable cross leg position, or you can, you can do uh, Sadasana, which is left, left, left heel in towards your groin and the right on top close to it with your hips out wide. Or you can do half lotus. Or you can do full lotus. A lot of people won't be able to do full lotus. <laughs> Pick one that you're comfortable with at first and then as you progress start choosing ones that are more difficult. So for this one, I'm just going to go with half ones. So when you sit, you want to lengthen your spine, shining the crown of your head towards the sky. You want to kind of drop your chin just a little bit to extend the spine up, lengthen it. And that's a sitting posture. That's the proper sitting posture. A lot of people tend to do this. They're crouched forward, which just closes them off completely. Lengthen the spine. Don't drop the head back. Don't do this. Don't do this. We're not doing this. We're sitting. We're aware. We're aware of what we're doing. That's what yoga is all about. Awareness. It's about knowing, it's about bringing awareness into every aspect of your body, your mind, and your soul, everything. So, when you've chosen a, a comfortable seat, whatever it is, um, you're going to have to choose a hand mudra now. Because we're doing alternate nostril breathing, what we're going to do is we're going to block off the nostril with the thumb, the right nostril right hand, right thumb, you're going to block that off to begin with. Now, we're not going to start, I'm just demonstrating. Now you're going to block off the left nostril with the ring finger. See? And what we're going to do is we're going to inhale for five breaths, for example. We're going to retain that breath for five breaths, and we're going to exhale for five breaths. And we're going to switch our nostrils. And we're going to start with the left nostril open, breathing in through the left nostril. Retain. Block off both nostrils when you retain. And then exhale on the right, retaining or uh, blocking off the uh, left nostril with the ring finger. Two different hand mudras. You can either do uh, Vishnu mudra, which is uh, dropping or bending the the um, pointer finger and the uh, middle finger and touching the fleshy part of your hand right here 
like that. So you're going to use your thumb and your ring finger like this, like this, like this, and like this. Or you can do a Nasagra Mudra, which is pointer finger, middle finger, extended out, touched on your third eye center, and then you can do this. So, now that we got the mudras straight, hand mudras straight, and um, our sitting posture, we went over that, we'll let it begin. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to demonstrate one round for you, and then we'll do it together. That way you know exactly what I'm doing and what's going on. So, I'm going to choose uh, an Asagra mudra. So, what I'm going to do is... Close my eyes gently and place my pointer finger and my middle finger to my third eye center in the middle of the forehead in between my eyes. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to block off my right nostril with my thumb and inhale for five. Block off both nostrils, retain for five. And exhale for five. Now that's one round. We're going to do three rounds. So, let's get our hand mudra and let's begin. So, we're going to block off the right nostril with the thumb and inhale for five, four, three, two, one. Retain for five, four, three, two, one. Exhale right for five, four, three, two, one. Inhale right, five, four, three, two, one. Retain five, four, three, two, one. Exhale left, five, four, three, two, one, inhale left, five, four, three, two, one, retain, five, four, three, two, one, exhale right, five, four, three, two, one, inhale right, five, four, three, two, one, Retain for five, four, three, two, one. Exhale left, five, four, three, two, one. Bring your hand down to your knees. Just relax. Observe the breathing. Do not force any breathing. Do not try to control your breathing. Notice how your lung capacity has increased. Notice how the mind is calm. The nervous system is relaxed. Notice the quality of the breath. And that is on a loma of the loma, alternate nostril breathing. Now, <clears throat> the second. Um, pranayama technique I want to show you is Kabbalabhati, which is skull shining. That's what Kabbalabhati means, is skull shining, which refers to illumination or enlightenment. Now this is going to help, any type of pranayama technique is going to help you in so many ways. It's going to calm your mind, like I said, it's going to calm your nervous system, relax your nervous system. It's going to increase your lung capacity. It's going to make you feel a hundred times better after doing it. So, Kabbalavati is skull shine, which is a forceful exhalation pushing with your diaphragm and a natural slow inhalation. So pretty much all you're concentrated on is your exhalation on this one, pushing it out as much as you can. But you don't want your whole body moving this. When you do it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna show you a little bit and then we'll do a little bit together. So 
Pick your pick, pick a hand mudra. I'm not gonna go into all the hand mudras. So, so let's do the basic simple one, which is this. Okay, tips of your fingers together. Not this, not this, not this. Tips of your fingers together. So it makes a circle. Okay. And then below your knees here. So lengthen your spine, and I'm gonna demonstrate it for you. So Close your eyes, tuck your chin just a little bit, and it's going to be forced exhalation through your nose. So you're going to have to be... That's Kabbal Bhati. Now, I suggest you blow your nose, if you got a runny nose, it's, you're going to push everything out. So, if not, don't worry about it. If you're not worried about it, don't worry about it. But have some tissues handy, maybe, to blow your nose with. Now, let's all do it together. So pick your seat. I'm in half lotus. Emily's just fidgeting around over here, but that's, <laughs> that's okay. And um, let's do some Kabbalah Bhati breathing. So. Here we go. So, a couple deep inhales and exhalations to prepare. So, inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Exhale everything out. And let's begin. Exhale everything out. Tuck your chin to your chest. Sip in some air. And hold. Focus on your third eye center. Hold your breath. And exhale and relax. Inhale. Just breathe. Out. And notice your breath. Notice your mind. Notice your body. Notice how everything is improved. Everything's calm now. That's what pranayama does. It gets your body prepared and your mind prepared for life, for yoga, for everything. I, you can do this before yoga. Always recommended. You can do it after yoga. You can do it before work. You can do it right when you get up. You can do it right before bed. Anytime you feel you need calmness of mind or you need to relax your body and focus your awareness, that is what pranayama does. Benefits are tremendous, tremendous amount of benefits from pranayama. Please, please, please try to practice it all the time. I think I'm going to bring this video to an end. It's my second video, so I know it might add a lot of weirdness to it or, or uh, 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 mistakes or whatever, but I'm going to post it anyway and see what you guys think. This is the beautiful Emily. Say hi. Hi. And I'm Joey. Thank you for watching this video on what is yoga and pranayama techniques.